Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining me on The Big Picture, the podcast for the Laureate Nanogue. My name's PJ Lynch, and I'm the new Laureate Nanogue, that's the Children's Laureate for Ireland. Uh, I'm a book illustrator. I've been drawing and painting pictures in children's books for many years, and that's my passion, drawing and painting. But, uh, through the big picture, I'm going to share that passion with you guys. I want to share different techniques. I want to demonstrate a lot. And I want to just have a lot of fun drawing and painting. It's not going to just be me, though, all the time. I want to bring in some, some other guest illustrators. And whenever I can, I'll bring some writers in as well. I want to talk to them about their process. So it's all about children's books, pretty much from the visual side, though. So, if you love drawing, I think you're going to enjoy the big picture. And last year, I was delighted to be asked by Owen Colfer, who was the children's laureate before me in Ireland. Uh, Owen asked me to illustrate this book. It was a compilation that he had gotten together of 17 great stories and poems by some of the top Irish authors. The problem was there was a lot of work to do and I had to do it quite quickly. So I decided I was going to use a technique that I hadn't used for years, which is uh, charcoal and chalk. White chalk, just like this kind of stuff you use on, on blackboards in school. And charcoal, pretty simple stuff you can get from art shops. I really like uh, the process of drawing on grey cardboard because it, it doesn't bend, it doesn't get all you know, warped like paper. And uh, I'd, I had so much fun doing the pictures uh, for Once Upon a Place that I've continued drawing on, in charcoal ever since. And it's unlike my usual work where I take like two weeks, three weeks to do one picture. Uh, with the charcoal, I can get really quick results and that's, that's why I enjoy it so much. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this kind of drawing in the Big Picture Podcast. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching it and picking up some techniques. So sometimes I'm, I'm planning my composition before I even know what I'm drawing. So I'm thinking that a big shape right in the middle is a kind of fun thing to have. It might be a landscape, it might end up being a person's head. Who knows? I see little shapes of heads coming here. And it's really fun for me to work this big because you often I'm working with pencils or tiny paint brushes. So this is a real freedom thing for me. I'm really enjoying it. charcoal breaks all the time. I often use a brush like this to soften the whole thing up. And as I said, using the square edge of a plastic rubber is a great way to clean off the charcoal that you don't want on there. And to give you some nice highlights. I think this guy's uh, just too kind of mean looking. We'll try something different. I don't know what. This is the kind of thing I did a lot of when I was uh, when I was younger. I loved drawing warriors and battles and things like that. That's not doing it for me either. 
I love uh, when I can see things coming through like this, uh, just just accidental things, like I see a man with his eyes shut here. Do you see that? And he's a little bit of a comedy kind of figure, you see, a little bit caricatured. So those accidents can be very happy. I like those kind of things. Using your fingers is one of the best things you could do with charcoal. You get lovely soft effects with your fingers. through the uh, charcoal really quickly or I do anyway putting little highlights in like this just using the edges and when you draw lots and lots of heads you you get to know where the highlights ought to go there's often a highlight running down there and not one there there's often a little light in there but it's not as bright and this is often quite light bottom lip is often lighter than the top lip I get a little bit of a sheen in his hair. So it looks like he's washed it fairly recently. I'm making him into a fairly sympathetic character. He could have gone evil. Um, but things like, you know, the big eyes and the sympathetic expression on those eyebrows. And we can see from his expression that he's a thoughtful type. So looks like he's a goodie. I don't know who he is, <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of enjoying finding out a bit about him. Uh, I'm really enjoying this this character. He looks he's a kind of a sad knight. I'm not sure why he's sad. I'm thinking maybe there's the remains of a battle over there. And obviously it's a pretty sad sight after a battle. So many people dead and things. But uh, and I I'm sort of feeling this is a good guy, but. Uh, Not not a hundred percent sure. I think his armor should probably come up this high. This is where um, charcoal comes into its own. Quite quickly, you can make changes like that. I'm 
Every time I want to do a highlight, I use my cut off plastic rubber. Try not to use it too much. And the ultimate for highlights is going to be this. When I when I use this, it'll just really make it sing, you know. But I'm I'm going to be I'm going to hold off using this for as long as possible. Uh, usually, if I'm doing an illustration for a book, I know exactly what the motivation of the character is, and I don't really have to think about this. But I'm just having fun with this guy and just. Uh, playing about with them it's it's a really nice change for me not to have to um, serve a text all the time now at a certain point you can't really get much blacker with this this stuff starts sort of lifting off but I'm pushing it as far as I can Quite a nice bob he's got. Looks like Jesse J, doesn't it? Yeah. And this is the fun part for me when I get the chalk in here. And I just want to imply that there's loads of flames going on in the background. of shine just coming from the, the background flames onto it. So I think that's finished. It was uh, it was a lot of fun for me. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, it started off as I don't know was it a landscape at one point? It was a two-headed man. Um, and it's just morphed into a poster for Macbeth. It's a nice thing to do on the uh, 400th anniversary of William Shakespeare's death. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. I certainly enjoyed drawing it. And I hope you'll enjoy me next time on the Big Picture Podcast. <laughs>